Hi there again, everyone. Dr. Dan Bachman here. Today, we're going to talk about cracking knuckles. I don't know if you can hear that. Is it bad for you? The answer is no. So tell your mom she's wrong. Uh, just kidding. I think, I, think lots, I think the myth about cracking knuckles being bad for you, making your knuckles swell, I think it came from moms who hated the sound of their kids cracking their knuckles and told them, don't do that because your knuckles are going to swell up. Just like moms tell kids, don't make that face. It's going to stay that way. Well, that wasn't true either, and neither is this. So feel free to crack your knuckles, especially if you feel better afterwards. Now, a real quick thing I'll say. It's possible to overdo anything. So, I mean, water is great for us, but you can drink too much and drown or die. Um, uh, and many other things like that. So use some common sense. It, but as long as when you crack your knuckles, it does not, you don't feel significantly worse or you're not progressively feeling worse as time goes by. Yeah, I can't pop that one. Um, you're probably fine. So what creates the popping sound though? So all synovial joints, they're called. By the way, a joint is a place where two bones meet and move, like say here, right? At the meeting of those two bones is a little leathery bag called a capsule that has lubricant inside so the bones don't grind away at each other. Now that lubricant is really slippery liquid and it has some tiny, tiny dissolved gas bubbles in it that are part of it. Now, when I stretch that joint by cracking my knuckles, I'm gapping the joint a bit as part of the stretch. And in the process, I stretch the capsule, the little leathery bag, and create a, a temporary vacuum inside of it because it's a bigger bag. That vacuum pulls all the little tiny bubbles into one big bubble all at once. That's what creates the sound. Sounds like two, two bones knocking together. It's not, it is actually a sound of decompression. And you'll notice a lot of times, if your hand feels a little stiff and you crack them, it feels like, oh, hey, it moves better. So, and this is also true of spinal joints, uh, their uh, knees and feet, ankles. So if you're like me, <laughs> And everywhere you go, your joints pop. Every time you get up and stretch, I mean, I joke that I, I can't sneak up on anyone because they would hear me coming because of all my crunchy poppy joints. But in general, when it comes to pops, crunches, clicks, head to toe, as long as you don't have severe pain that hits you right when you hear that sound, it's not bad for you. It freaks people out sometimes, whether it's moms or you yourself. Now, actually, there's been a very little bit of research done on knuckle cracking. Um, I'll see if I can find it and link it below. Um, and it's all, it's all like, it's, it's fine. Just don't overdo it to where you're, you're you, can, you can make anything inflamed and irritable. Also, I read a story about a medical doctor who for 40 years only cracked the knuckles on his left hand and never on his right for 40 years. And then he x-rayed and had MRIs done on both of his hands. They looked identical. So, I mean, I know that's a, that's a, a sample, sample size of one. So in research, that means it's not very relevant. But that's, something, that's a pretty impressive example, I think, of, of someone who only, I don't know how he's able to prevent, to keep from cracking his other side. They must have wanted it so bad. But anyway, tell your mom, hey, mom, guess what? I was right. You were wrong. I can crack my knuckles. It's not bad for me. Anyway, I hope that's at least been interesting for you guys. If so, subscribe below. And if, as always, if you have a question of your own, Leave that down in the comment section below. I'd love to get back to you with a personalized video answer for yourself. See you guys next time. Bye.